In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 deadly trends, death by beauty. Hello everyone, my name is Miss Haraholic and welcome to my channel, Drop Dead Gorgeous Mortuary Hair and Makeup, where we explore the cosmetic side of the funeral home industry. If you're interested in things like this, or you've been wanting to further your career as a mortuary cosmetologist, subscribe to my channel. And if you just so happen to like my videos, give me a huge thumbs up. That way other professionals like yourself can also learn more information about the funeral home industry. In this video, we will talk about how men over centuries use beauty trends that resulted in death. All right, let's get to it. Number 10, Peller Skin by Leech Bleach. Many women from the Renaissance era wanted to look as pale as possible. At this time, wealthier people didn't work outdoors and acquire tans, so anyone with a paler skin was presumed to be privileged. Accordingly, women found leeches in the forest and let the insects suck their blood. And it's not likely for someone to die from bleeding themselves by leeches, but let's just say depending on the size of the leech and the person, it can take about 300 to 1100 leeches to bleed an adult human dry. So, it's a possibility. Number nine, corsets. In the 19th century, certain women broke their ribs while wearing corsets to look thinner. Trends dictated that women should have tiny waist. Corsets shaped with metal helped women achieve this look, but the cost was very great. The restrictive garments often caused digestive issues and even broke bones. Now, according to old x-rays, women who wore the corsets daily suffered from squashed ribs and displaced organs and complications that caused death. Number eight, lead makeup. To achieve the ghostly look, they would slather their face with a thick layer of makeup that was made from deadly lead. Side effects of the lead exposure included unnaturally gray hair, dry skin, abdominal pain, and constipation. Eventually, the skin would rot away and leave scars and slowly poison the body, resulting in death. Number seven, radium. From the 1920s to the 1950s, women wanted a similar complexion, but they used atomic products to get it. Radium is a chemical compound that makes nuclear bombs. And we invigorated the skin with the boost of youth. Number six, tapeworms. Obsessed with their figures, Victorian women purposely ingested tapeworms. They let the parasite grow inside of their bodies and consume the nutrients. Consequently, the women lost weight quickly. To get rid of the tapeworms, they took pills or used special devices. In this case, they used a cylindrical foodstuff tool to remove the creatures. But the device was inserted through the digestive tract and it often choked patients to death. Number five, arsenic. Now arsenic was made in clothing and wafers. Now the wafers, people ingested them to get clear skin back in the 1900s. It was sold in stores like Sears. Also a trend to dye dresses and clothing with arsenic, which gave it a green color. And women would wear these clothing and it would slowly poison them to death. Number four, belladonna or nightshade. Women in the Victorian ages dropped nightshade into their eyes to create a glowing look. It made the pupils dilate while also causing blindness. Continuous use caused heart failure, coma, and death. It was also said that a woman created a poison disguised as a cosmetic for women to secretly kill off their abusive husbands by putting it into their food. Number three, cyanide. In the early 1900s, women began to realize that lead was dangerous to use on their bodies. So they turned cyanide into dye for their hair. Yes, cyanide. The dangers of cyanide weren't known as well back then, so women would use the poison to dye their hair black. Naturally, this would have harmful effects on women. 
Symptoms of cyanide poisoning include headache, dizziness, shortness of breath, vomiting, and death. Number two, crinoline. A crinoline is a petticoat that was under a woman's skirt. It was famous in the early 18 and 1900s until women started to die. The crinoline was easily flammable and it had massive amounts of fabric which made women burn to death quickly. Other risks include entanglement and carriage wheels and getting caught by sudden gusts of wind. Last but not least, hygiene. Now, this might make you cringe. Women would clean their lady parts out with Lysol. And this was a big deal because it was advertised as a way to keep your relationship spicy or by keeping your husband. Lysol soap solution contained Cresol, which Tone described as a constituent of crude carbolic acids, distillated coal, and wood. In high concentrations, this could cause severe burning, inflammation, and even death. By 1911, doctors had recorded hundreds of Lysol-related deaths, included five from uterine irrigation. Now, I know that you're probably just as surprised as I am because I had no idea these beauty trends existed until I started to do the research. Thank goodness some of our new trends don't necessarily result in death. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching my video, Top 10 Deadly Trends, Death by Beauty. If you've ever been interested in mortuary cosmetology or you just so happen to like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a huge thumbs up. You can also check me out on other social media platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook as Miss Mortuary, Miss underscore Mortuary. All right, guys. Thanks again. Bye.